Craig James, father of Adam and current ESPN college football analyst, joins us right here on SportsCenter. Craig, in light of today's events, Texas Tech firing head coach Mike Leach, is this a good day for the James family? Hey, anybody who thinks that we asked to go through this, think again. This is not what we were hoping for at all with Adam's career at Texas Tech. This is all a result of what happened to Adam a couple of weeks ago. And, and I've tried to stay on target with that when I visit with people like you. Steve, he had a concussion. The doctor diagnosed it as a concussion. Uh, it's the actions that the coach took against Adam that forced us as a family to do what we did. There's not a mom or a dad in this country who wouldn't have done what we did if you knew what we knew about our son? We did it for his safety. We did it for the safety of the future for him and for his teammates. We didn't ask to go through this, I promise you. Craig, that, that's what I was going to ask you. If, if Adam's father was named Bob or Bill and wasn't a former NFL player turned national broadcaster, would this have ended differently? I can't answer that because that's a hypothetical there. I can only answer what it means to us and our family. I am not a national broadcaster at home. At home, I'm a dad of four kids, and my son is a football player at Texas Tech. And so what happened to him was something that was brought to my attention. After the first time, we didn't know what to do. We were stunned. After the second time, we had to ask the university for safety and for protection, which is what we did. So I can't answer your hypothetical question about another player or their dad or their mom. But I know that as a dad and a mom, anybody in the country, if you knew what I knew and what we knew about our son, you would have taken the same steps we did. There is plenty of negative reaction out there towards the firing of Coach Leach. Have you felt any of that firsthand, and, and how will you deal with that? Absolutely. Again, Steve, th this isn't something that, that we asked for. You know, we continue to be a victim of something, and, and our family's going through a lot right now, far more than we ever wanted to go through. We didn't want any of this, but we had to do it. We had to take these actions and ask the university for help for safety for Adam with a concussion who was being treated with actions that were senseless. They are not good. When a person has a concussion, you have to take care of them. So, you know, this is not, uh, this is not something I would wish on anybody. Uh, I know Adam is with the team in, in San Antonio right now. Can you share with us his reaction to the firing of his coach? I haven't asked him at all about the firing of the coach. Uh, you know, Adam keeps sending me texts, Dad, how you doing? How's mom? And, and, you know, he's doing great because he's with his teammates, and he's with the people uh, that love him. His teammates support Adam. I think you're starting to see that now. Some of these reports are starting to come out and statements made by his teammates. And so the love that he has from his players around him in that locker room, I'm glad he's with them right now while all of this is going on. Uh, no question. Some of those statements have, have come to light from his current teammates, and we are going to show some of those shortly. But there are also some former teammates who have come out and even some current coaches who have gone the other way and have been critical of Adam's work ethic, toughness, attitude. What do you say to those people? You know what? I go back to the reason that this has all happened. A young man happens to be my son, had a concussion diagnosed by his team doctor. It's the actions taken against Adam that really forced us to do what we've done. It has nothing to do with any of those other circumstances. It doesn't matter if Adam's good, bad, or indifferent. The problem happened when a son of my son had a concussion, and it's the actions taken against him. It has nothing to do with anything else surrounding Adam James and Texas Tech football. Craig James, thank you.